Uh, my friends, welcome back. We are playing as the United Federation of Planets. Um, we were laying the foundation in the last episode by a means of, of our planets to make sure that that all works. Now, we still have unemployed population, which is, uh, is bad, but we'll uh, change that right now. We're going to be upgrading all, everything that we can upgrade in all of the buildings uh, and just wait until all of our planets grow into that. In terms of our shipyards, we have one in Seoul, we have one all the way in here, which in, in the likeliness of a war, we could not hope to defend this, um, but we are going to be flipping you over to, well, not really a trade depot, because that's not going to work out for us, but we'll go with a naval depot, and... You know, having all of this. Let's go Orbital Museum and Naval Logistics Center. Can we connect you up? Now, by doing that, we need to get to the trade map mode. And you go over. There, can we not go over here? Really, no. You are over here. And usually, you just right-click on somewhere of some of your spaceports. I think they might not be able to because we have no borders touching. Hmm, that's quite annoying. What is this kind of... Is that ours? It looks like it. I think these are horrible positions to have this at all. Let's just remove them. The same goes for you. It, I it has it's all no no purpose. Let's get rid of it. Let's let's get just just get rid of it. We'll build a another star base around here somewhere. Also, we need to take a look and we need to make sure that we are uplifting the ones that we want to uplift. So this is happening right now. That needs to happen right now. So all of these get uh, boosted into the Federation, which is uh, what we need. That will put a strain on our economy. So we have three star bases. Construction complete. Hmm. Let's take a quick look. One shipyard. Discovered. And we got habitability plus five. Uh, let's get that out of the way. Let's take a quick look. So where do we want them? Um... Construction ship. This could never, never be what we wanted. We need to get a shipyard in here. We know that the Romulans will become a problem. We don't... We know that the Vulcans aren't. And we need something over here to defend. So, we already have Mobu. But getting... God, there's two over here already. Maybe just going to this one yet again. Let's upgrade this. Yeah, I think that's going to be a okay-ish decision. Actually, there is a planet in here. Just having them there might even be better. So, let's remove you. And let's build up over here. And we'll see. That brings us back to 5. Actually, that brings us up to 4. Which is... Mm, we need one more. Oh yeah, we were going to build one over here, right? So I'd rather have them with my planets than anywhere else. So let's do that. So that's being built. This is all being flipped. We'll have to worry about these fletchling colonies. Especially due to the stabilization... Uh... Stability, not stabilization. What the hell is a stabilization anyway? Ah, <sighs> you grow so slow. Why are you so unhappy? It's due to the rule that, that one guy is just just making matters so bad for a planet. One fella just to ruin a planet. How dare you? It's not even growing population at the moment. Why? 
really? Oh, there we go. That was so weird. I was like, there's nothing growing here? What the hell? So, we have one working the alloy factory. That is fine. Let us uh, see what we can do with our fleet. So, we can actually go up to 75. Oh, no, no, that's not true. And up to 150. Up to 10. That's 109. Get another explorer in there. And boost that up. That is quite nice. I quite like this. Almost 6,000. Wow. That's quite a bit. Let's research that. That's been evaded. Energy is going to suffer quite soon. We're making 10 supplies. So I'm actually okay by selling that. And let's just boost and hope boosting of the, uh, the population here. Where they actually start to turn energy credits into a plus. Okay, what's going on here? So... What would help our faction the most? The Tradition Diplomacy Tray. It has the most members and it has the most support. So it will generate the most. Let us go with Diplomacy. Uh, population growth from migration is increased and the reduce of diplomatic influence cost is negative 50. That is quite nice. Ship building speed, home territory, firing rate, trade value, border friction and trade protection. Actually not bad. Not bad if you're trying to rebuild your economy I'd say. So we'll definitely go for that. And that would get us probably very close to one or just over one. Come on, you, you gotta love this. Can we... Uh... Wow. Damn. This would cost me two. Uh, how much would it work? I, it, this would be us. Together with the... Mm, legalized passive studying... To native interference will please. A passive study stands on native interference. So that is a policy. That is also a very, very, very loud, loud bike. Let's go with the passive studies. Since we are not supposed to do anything. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We're making five. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Love that. Preserving cultures. We don't have that. Just preservations. And embracing diversity. So this would actually put me into a position where I could say, Oh, wait a minute. Did, wait, did, did Captain Archer die? Oh, he died. Oh, really? Oh, damn. Hmm. Uh, Melanie uh, Whitney, maybe? Or would it be... In, no, it's a civilian ship, so it needs a scientist. We are lacking this. So let's get Whitney in there. And to boldly go where you have never gone before, I'd say. So that's going to be a thing. Man, when did he die? No, he's the ruler. Captain Jonathan Archer is the new ruler of the United Federation of, of, of Planets. Well, well done. You're the Prime Minister. Actually, you're quite the militarist. Didn't think that would happen. Yeah, we're actually starting. Look at it. The stability is going up. I like it. That's what I wanted to see. Mm, yeah, we, we just have to wait. We have to wait it out. Look at this, guys. We made it. We made it into the uh, the white numbers again. Oh, there's an outbreak of the flu. Oh, no. Track it on the map. It's all the way up here. We have a scientist anywhere? You. 
research this project and once you're done go back and do whatever is this that you do best uh, yeah that figures out they are going to be into a coalition I wonder how long it's going to last until we can actually get the Falcons in there I'd say another six years and we'll have a very very strong foothold Construction complete. So Earth had his construction. Uh, we need to upgrade all of these buildings. Initiating communications. And we got communications. So the the Valerian Freeholds would like to be a to cooperate more closely with the Soul Concord. Let's agree. And that is association offers. So we're here on 54 or 45. That's because they're so large. So high intensity. Let's get it done. Yeah, we're growing strong here. We're growing strong. With, with plus 5 influence. That is, uh, that's truly magnificent. Let us take a look at our star bases here. Cannot make an orbital museum. In all honesty, then I... Don't know what else to do with you. San Francisco shipyard? Seriously? Can we place it on here? San Francisco shipyard. Allows flagship construction. That is what we need here. 500 alloys. That is not bad. We can do that. We'll have to build that over Earth. I don't think having that over with our anchoring is going to do a lot for us. Yeah, we need to save up to 500. We also need to build up the fleet because we're weak. We're very, very weak. Mm. All in due time, I'd say. All in due time. So the outbreak ends and it is a tragedy. The scientist failed. You are horrible scientist. Horrible scientist. Let's see. Uh, rehabilitation and re-education. That means we'll have to make a decision. Mm, there was a bit of lag there. Do you notice, right? Survey complete. This could be interesting. Black hole observatory. Let's, let's do it. Do we have any black holes? I said it it could be interesting and I'm not saying that it's good it could be useful. Technology discovered. Um Yeah, we'll just see. A new face cannons that means upgrading all of the ships. No, we're still making 30, so this doesn't have to do. It would fit nicely on an empty spot on all of the stations though. Uh let's go for this one since it will create a strategic resource for us oh man we, we need to we're going to get the shipyard because that's what i wanted so let's build that uh, we need to get one two planets under our control which is also very important we'll uh, wait for that let's take a look at our planets Man, it's just population that we are actually lacking the most. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do. We need to wait until uh, stability comes. As well as food. Hmm. Uh, faction has been founded. The uh, Eden Movement. Let's see what that is all about. Unknown Vessel. The Eden Movement, the Spiritualist. I don't think I'm going to like you a lot. So, Unknown Vessel. While in the vicinity of Devron, Captain David Wallace turned to the science officer and asked for his opinion about the origins of a vessel. They are approaching fast. The, scientist, uh, the science officer replies that the vessel's origin is unknown. Nothing that it, that it could hardly be an earth ship the communication officers announces that she is receiving a signal an old morse called calling signal captain 
Oz Moscow call, uh, call signal. Captain David Wallace turns to the science officers and command, uh, uh, comments the, uh, comments about the ships not possibly being in a vessel. But no. The ship appears on screen and the captain states that it's an old DY500 class ship. The science officer postulates. 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 No clue what it is. To the captain's... Uh, suggesting it might be an older D-100 ship. The, la um, the last such vessel built was centuries ago in the 1990s. Come alongside and let us prepare to go aboard. And we gain, oh yes, we gain some resources. I like it. I really do. So we desperately need to build up our fleet. Eventually the wars will happen, so we have a lot of work to do. Mm, that doesn't change, this doesn't change. You don't do anything. There you go, so you are done. Let us boost our naval cap since we are trying to boost our fleet up to 100. So naval depot. And the same goes for this one over here. In 10 days. But we'll have to save up on alloys. So that's done. Um, I like the tractor beams. Because that is a mount for the destroyers. Like lowering the subspace uh, speed of enemy vessels is quite strong. So this will be even more expensive when that is done. So let's just build up ships and we'll worry about the rest later. Naval depots. We need a hundred in total, right? So naval and naval. We'll wait for the naval logistics. Let us sell. Let us sell some of this, like 250 of you, 1000, and we're going to be boosting alloys, there we go, and increase our fleet. I know some would really like to see me colonize those planets since it does take me a long time to actually generate population, but personally I think with a fleet this week, it, it is bound to run into problems and this only constructs like two of these ships we need to boost alloys like there's nothing else in the world that we need to be doing yeah we'll need to we need population growth what will what will be happening what will be happening let's zoom out a bit so we don't have to see all of these annoying stations let's zoom out a bit there is a hostile fleet in here and the, the Confederation of Surak is actually doing quite well with its navy. Getting on, getting out of the protective status would have been quite, quite a challenge. Let's see, anything else? Construction ship is done. Let's close those. Actually, uh, closing that would be a mistake. We could close the factions. This would probably allow us to build the NX class. Anomaly detected. Uh, let's research that. And let us get the Naval Logistics Center up there. Yeah, we're slowly getting there. Just, just um, give me a few. And Oh, there we go. That's what I like to see. Meaning we can now start boosting... Um, food. Okay, power plant that just generates... Wait, what? This produces 25. It wants technician jobs. Job base production is 6. Okay. Um, well, first things first. We'll go with the fusion reactor. 
As for you... Yeah, you're still being annoying, huh? Oh, 60... This is going to be so expensive. Look at that. We've been going through our influence like crazy. Oh, well. What can we do about it? Not much. Look at that stability. They're back. This, this colony is happy. And this one is getting really close. I'm very happy I didn't suppress them. Otherwise, that would have been a lot longer. Uh, we have a trade deal, which I would gladly, gladly agree from the Sovereign League over here. Ready. They're receptive. They don't like me all too much because they are rivals to the Noblens and we are guaranteeing them. But yeah, economy-wise, we are getting there. The Federation is starting to be a force since we're building ships. We're making sure we... I want to aim for a hundred alloys per tick. I think that's a good a good goal early on and it will have to go at some point to like a thousand or so but that is stuff for the future as for now thank you all so much for watching i hope you are enjoying yourself i'll uh, be sure to do something about the name so if you did leave your name in the comments give it some time you will be accepted as a ruler as a leader of the united federation of planets and uh, together we boldly go where no guy has gone before. Or girl. Probably guy. As for now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.